most of us wanted to know how to test a spark of a small engine, especially with trimmers, uh, brass cutters, and low noise. And most of the available uh, tools that we, we can buy off the market is the analog inline tester to test for spark. It, it has a spark gap. Once you crank the engine, it creates a spark. It's um, a visible spark. So you're wondering how we could test the, the spark digitally. Well, today, the starting point is we try to investigate how we can monitor or get the spark or sample the spark and using the oscilloscope we have a Tektronix 500 meg uh, TDS 3054 uh, surplus from Australian Defense. So today we're going to investigate and do some experiment how to sample that voltage going into the spark plug and all at the same time with minimal loss to the, to the ignition. So we have a small circuit here, a sample circuit, and we have the multimeter, we have an oscilloscope, and I'll show you, we'll, we will see, we will see how it works. And with this information that we can get is, we may able to use this information, we are able to use this uh, waveform or the voltage to create or to design a small circuit and to represent that circuit, to represent the voltage into um, a bar graph LEDs or um, an LEDs or or even uh, we send that information to an Android phone. So so at the same time, this this um, this purpose purpose of this experiment is to enable for us to verify if we're able to get that the sample that waveform or sample enough voltage to drive a small circuit, maybe an op amp or something. Um, and then it drive into an LED, or uh, we have to sample this um, waveform and send it to a Bluetooth and into a device, and we we might create um, develop an Android app that can that can monitor this uh, waveform and analyze this waveform. So it's it's a, a very ambitious uh, task to do, and it's a challenge. So let's have a look. Uh, what, what we can get from this um, oscilloscope. Okay, what we have it here is um, we remove the spark boot cover. We connect the we connect it to the terminal inside, into our yellow into our sample circuit here, and also the, the black into our sample circuit. So th this two is ideally doesn't have any loss on the connection, so it's purely zero ohm. At the same time, so we're able to, to sample the voltage out from the circuit. So we have a multimeter connected to the sample circuit in here. We have the oscilloscope probe connected to the sample circuit. We'll see what the waveform we have uh, when we crank the engine. So this card previously I captured the waveform. This is a waveform with uh, roughly uh, 30 microsecond of pulse width and with uh, let's take the measure uh, cursor, horizontal bar. So roughly we have 43.7 volts uh, peak to peak. So that is a good, good indication and good enough to to use that voltage to drive a circuit. So and also that um, because it's very very fast uh, pulse width, it's only and that's only uh, 30 microsecond so the average pulse width average uh, voltage will be will, will expect that would be lower than 47 volts so using our multimeter this will take some average but this is not really accurate for measuring high pulse so at least we have some indication how many volts we get from the multimeter as well so let's re-trigger that one and take that uh, re trigger and waiting for the pulse trigger. So we'll try to crank the engine. So now we have the pulse there, and you missed that voltage on the multimeter. We'll try it again. So with our multimeter, it says overload, but uh, should be roughly in, in millivolt. So Reset that meter. So 
So our resistor network here is not, maybe it's not connected uh, properly. We'll try. So that definitely our multimeter is reading something in 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 millivolts. It's a uh, it's reading a hundred and hundred millivolt, which is good good enough to to drive an op amp a high high speed op amp. So with uh, low voltage input op amp. So we'll see if we switch off this one and we reset the trigger. Of oscilloscope and let's see what, what we get so that shows nothing that shows nothing so this engine doesn't have a petrol in it so I'll try not to have a petrol but maybe it's good um, I don't have a working engine it's good to demo to when the engine is running what will be the voltage uh, coming out on the oscilloscope at the same time when the engine is running and also what the bolt is on the multimeter but to do that um, keep tuned with our um, subscribe to our channel for so you don't miss the when when time we build I build the or design the circuit for this one or I might uh, design as well um, a circuit or a pro a program and uh, Arduino Sorry, yes, obviously I, I use Arduino to interface with this device into uh, Bluetooth to um, uh, Android phone. So I also developed an Android app to interface with our Arduino um, circuit. So it's it's uh, it's interesting to, to see how we able to uh, see the spark uh, digitally and capture the spark and represent the spark into um, a waveform or um, a voltage indicator on an L or an LED bar graph or to a uh, smartphone and what what I plan is um, having a small device connected to between the spark plug and the spark uh, both cover a high voltage and a device that's only sitting here with the battery operated obviously which is also comes with the Bluetooth and connected to interface with the uh, smartphone or Arduino We're using that Arduino and the Android phone so it's quite interesting and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to stay tuned for any update so we'll see how it goes with this uh, switch off there's nothing on the, the waveform it's not in here also there's no voltage on the meter and it's ready the oscilloscope into a trigger mode and we'll see and switch on that to start so that will get some volts here and also we get that waveform there so if you have any questions um, please don't forget to leave a comment and obviously give us a thumbs up give me a thumbs up and stay tuned with more updates and thanks for watching thanks for watching our experiment for today i hope you enjoy and found it interesting uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel below and leave the comments and we'll see you next time